welcome back. So today is going to be the second, second, second part of my Sephora haul. Um, and it's what I am wearing on my eyes today is the Violet Loss Vibes. Vibes. I thought it would just be a really really nice cool toned palette slash neutral-ish. That's what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this shade, which is really pretty. It has like this like uh, pink iridescent to it. And um, I'm also wearing cold shoulder, which is just like your typical matte brown. Great pigmentation. It didn't really go on patchy or anything, so you're looking for a neutral palette i think this is like a pretty okay the next thing i got which i'm kind of i'm kind of surprised at myself that i purchased this because i am kind of not really into natasha denona anymore we'll see about this i got it for a reason obviously glam palette yeah i don't know why i got this but it's really pretty Um, that's a really pretty sparkly color. That is nice. That's like a nice wet look. This is nice. The blush. That's a pretty blush. And a highlight. This is a nice palette, actually. I'm happy with my purchase. Um, <clears throat> this really nice creamy highlight like doesn't have any glitter in it or anything so i think it's like i swear to god i think i got this last christmas it's the juicy tubes um gift set i think i got this last christmas it's just been sitting around but I, the juicy tubes is honestly what I was into like in fucking like high school. So I'm totally down with that. Like the 90s are back. Like I love that the 90s are back. Um, definitely like this type of look these days. So we'll see how this works. The Lawless Forget the Filter Set. I don't even think that they make this anymore. Maybe they do. That doesn't fuck around. Clean makeup that doesn't fuck around. I like that slogan. So this comes with Rosy Outlook, Daisy Pink, and Velvet. So excited. Let's see. The pink. And then... was the Summer Fridays Pool Time Glowing Body Oil. I have this bottle. Um, I think I really liked the smell of this. Yeah, it smells like the beach. Like sunscreen in the sun and... Ugh. Two more things from Fenty Beauty. I purchased the, I've actually used this a bunch. It is just the peach, her peach palette. Really pretty, kind of on the go. And then I also got, apparently I got this foundation I totally forgot about, which is the Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. Yeah, so it's been a while. But I think I really liked the way that this looked like on my face. I think that it was like blurring and it really um, made my skin look airbrushed. <sighs> Two of the Pat McGrath Divine Blushes. Um, I have used these gorgeous. <sighs> I really love her shit. Um, this is the... I don't even know what name 
items these are like i said it's been oh my god but i remember why i got this color um it's like a really pretty uh cool toned pink and you know what this reminds me of max pink cult i'll have to see if it's a dupe for it because i have it but remember like the amazingness of that i still own it but that's it right there i also got this one I don't know if these are like names. I don't know the names of these, but I'm, I'm gonna put them below for you. Oh, okay, so I can't even read it. I like hit 42 and I'm completely blind. This is like a warm pink shade. Again, I'll link it below for you if you care. You know, I wasn't that impressed with this one. Um, that one, I think I was gonna return and I forgot about. It's okay for me, but I might like sell it or something. It's just I have so many and I don't have a lot of room in this house. But this Hula Glow, I um, didn't realize that, I forgot that they came out with a Hula, which I love, but in more of like a iridescent, really pretty, um, shimmery version. I'm not gonna swatch it, I'm gonna let freaking break. But it's pretty, I'm really excited to try this because I totally forgot that I purchased this. The, I love the name Kosas Cloud Set. I love that. love their packaging though. I just think it could be a little sleeker. This reminds me of something that I could purchase at Target. Like one of their brands. It's just not my favorite packaging. And this is the powder that I got because I feel like that would be a really good um, set for my face. This mascara, you don't need to spend too much time on this. It is one of my favorites. It's the um, Lancome Monster Big. Hourglass Vanish. Ooh, they're cream brushes. I forgot how much I love this and I got Revel. Revel. Because. Packaging, not bad. Oh god. I'm proud of myself for getting this because it would not be the one that I would normally gravitate towards. But the pigmentation of these, look at that. So that is coming across very warm. But when you shear this out, look at that. It would leave the most perfect flush to the cheek, I think. Reminds me of a NARS cream blush that just continued. I think if you guys have been around for a while, you know what I'm talking about, but I don't remember the name of it. Let me know in the comments, but it was like very reminiscent of this. It just had like gold flecks in it. Oh God, it was gorgeous. NARS, fuck you. I got, um, this is like my favorite shampoo. So yeah, I go through it a ton. It's so lightweight. It's great for my extensions. So definitely check that out. Is it Dom? It's Dam Dam or Dom Dom Tokyo Pure Skin Pure Mask. I just wanted to try this one. Um, I'll let you know about that. I oh, totally forgot that I got this. The Wrinkle Blur, um, I don't even know that word, but it reminds me of a word that you would find somewhere on a porn site. Gel Eye Cream. <laughs> I mean, the reviews of this were amazing. So um, that's what it looks like. But yeah, I'm really excited about mascara. It is the Perfect Strokes. Mascara Volume Universal Rare Beauty. It's like the first and probably only thing I will purchase from Rare Beauty. So this is what this looks like. I just really liked the volume of that. And I think that that, I think that's going to be really pretty for your eyes. So the thing I got was from Rose Ink and it's their Blush Divine um, Blush. Okay, so this is interesting to me because I don't know why. Oh, the texture is nice. Why would I get this? I 
must have been hella stoned. But um, right here, you definitely don't need both. But if you are looking, if you like a cream blush and you've got aging skin, you might want to try this because it does blur out the fine lines kind of on my hand right here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave all your comments below. And we'll see you next time. Bye.